National University of Singapore Professor Lim Pin has been the chairman of the Tripartite National Wages Council for 14 years now. And in this period, he has seen many ups and downs in Singapore's economic cycle and growth. Has he ever lost his cool during the NWC meetings? I don't think I need to. <laughs> People are very, they, they understand each other. You know, they, they work together quite, quite well. So a lot of tripartite committees will have sorted out most of the nitty gritty. When it comes to the, to the NWC meeting, they're pretty well done. And they're just going through the final points and uh, maybe still residual disagreements here and there where I just remind them, please, you know, larger goal, larger goal, you know. And, and, and usually people give and take and, and come to uh, an amicable uh, sort of agreement. One such period which saw the give-and-take mentality amongst employers, unions and the government was the 2008 global financial crisis when Singapore experienced negative economic growth. Professor Lim says thanks to level-headed tripartite leaders, the country sailed through the rough storms and emerged. We were down and out. Our economic performance GDP was minus 8%, minus 7%. Terrible. Everybody was in trouble. So what do we do? I think the tripartite partners came in in a, in a very exemplary way. First of all, the unions, they agree to what we call managing excess band power by wage cuts, shorter work week, temporary layoffs. The unions agree to that to enable the companies to retain jobs and not sack workers so that the jobs are retained. People don't lose jobs. Of course, they have less take-home pay, but they get something to go on for the time being. And at the same time, the employers were given incentives to various schemes. You know? And what happens when the downturn blew away and we came up with uh, good times? We shot up. Our economic growth, fantastic. Productivity went not 11%. So it is how the tripartism Working together in a, in a very coherent and uh, very, very, very tightly knit group can really make a difference in not only going through a bad time, but also position ourselves for the good times. And Professor Lim emphasises that when the good times are around, it's important for companies and workers to focus their attention on improving productivity at the workplace. Because without such improvements, improvements to wage levels would be difficult. Then we've got to improve productivity of our workers. So we are going to use what we call manpower efficient productive methods. I think that's important. In the long run, to be competitive, our productivity must be good. That's something we can do to prove ourselves. All the time, as we know, we've got to be competitive. Investment don't come to you because they love you, because they're they are competitive, they're worth coming to. So that, that's how Singapore survived. Turning to the focus of the NWC in the past few years, Professor Lim explains the need to address the plight of low-wage workers. We feel that uh, if the workers are not seen to be getting a part of the goodies, of the economy, then I think this it will generate an undercurrent of unhappiness and of course the quality of the work and uh, the industrial peace may be affected. So we've got to take preventive measures. So what we are trying to do is to see how we, how we can uh, improve the workers' uh, take-home pay. But to do that sustainably, again, back to one word, productivity. You can't keep on increasing salary without increasing productivity. If that goes on too, too long, your competitiveness goes down. No more investment, no jobs. Then it comes down to <laughs> if everybody loses in the long run. So again, productivity is here. so important. I say the central to the whole equation. We will be careful with a basic wage increase. So I think this is how we tackle the issue. Helping the low-wage workers on the one hand, on the other hand, not to lose our competitiveness again. For the long term, Professor Lim is upbeat about the role of NWC and he says looking at the way the tripartite partners have responded to various crises, he is confident of their capability to handle unfortunate situations in the future.